Hey, hey, hi, ho. I am Igra Glass, and today we continue our adventures in Idle Kingdom Defense. So, in this guide, I'll tell you some advanced tips and secrets uh, which is important to know in early game. I played this game for a week, so today it's uh, seventh day. And uh, for this time, for one week, you will upgrade, you will get all permanent upgrades. As you see, I, I got all of them. So this game, it's very generous game. And you get enough of uh, rubies to open everything in one week. And all other uh, gems where you put, you put it to expedition. So you fight with the boss, you get uh, different rewards. And after you got them, you make additional draw. So first and for 100 rubies another one. So it's where you put your crystal. And also, so daily you make five or five extra, extra five draws here, buy extra five tickets, expedition tickets. Uh, and another, each one costs of 100 and you make extra draw 100. So it's where you put your rubies. And also you put your rubies to Ultra summon, and that's what I want to talk to talk about. It's heroes, of course. So it's a gacha game where you collect you collect heroes, and some people they become more lucky, some not. So I made a lot of draws, a lot of ultra summon draws, and I'm not uh, maybe the most luckiest guy. What I got uh, the big uh, good thing that I have, Christian. It's really awesome hero who have huge damage with AOE so if you get something like this you're very lucky uh, but that's it so among this S heroes I have only this hero although I made a lot of summons and I got this hero also from ultra summon so sometimes when you make ultra summons there is a chance that you will obtain a hero immediately whole hero, not shards, but whole hero. But it's very slim chance, so yeah, I was lucky to get it. Uh, then, of course, I uh, use this Evan. So, three star heroes, there are some very good three star heroes. So, it's Evan, he's really good uh, DPS. Uh, then, uh, Xavier, I underestimate this hero, but actually he's really good. He's really good. So what the, I think this hero it could be used at end game too because it's very easy to start it. So you see, it's already uncommon for me, and uh, it it get parameters. His skill to summon ten horses, ten cavalries. So uh, their attack based at your hero parameters, and also at your hero equipment which is very cool so if you would take a look at the by the way it's good advice another advice to to click this button and to check how much dps uh, your units make and here you could see who make more dps the thing is that in different modes you have uh, different dps so you see in this mod for example in portal this hero he is the most powerful one uh, so, because in in some in some places, uh, some units they make uh, different damage to you, and some, for example, immune to AOE. So, in different activities, you need different heroes. But uh, in general, this is one of the best heroes for beginners, especially. And in the mid game, it will be good. Some people use it at end game. I know it. So. Why? Because his cavalry units, they distract enemies. So let me just demonstrate it to you. So when we have a battle. Uh, oops, sorry. Yeah. So when we have a battle, uh, we got summoned several cavalry units. Let's wait for summon. Come on. Yeah. You see? And uh, they stop enemies going 
close to the castle. That's why my castle uh, doesn't lose much uh, hit points. So they stop, they distract uh, enemies and they uh, doesn't give, they don't give possibility to come close. So it's very good hero. You see right now he uh, have like 30% of damage he made. And uh, he isn't only 800 level, a bit more than others, but still, I mean, it's really good hero. Why it's good? Because it's only three star hero. And it means that it's very easy to ascend it. It's very easy to make ascension, increase his quality. Because, for example, I got this hero, Christian, from the beginning, and I just do not have shards for to ascend him. So I can't level up at past 700 level. So, uh, of course, there are heroes which uh, could be considered better than, than Xavier. For example, Adrian. Some people, they, they, they are trying to get Adrian because he's four stars. But it's very hard to do. It will be super hard if you are free-to-play player, if you do not uh, spend a lot of money to the game or maybe you are some people they may maybe just lucky to get this hero but yeah so he summoned 10 golems and their parameters also depends on uh, this hero uh, properties it's very good hero but it's hard to get so you anyway Xavier will be good choice so I mean this hero almost everyone can get it and I strongly advise uh, if you just start to play uh, or you are at mid game, consider using this hero because it's cheap, it's uh, powerful, useful. It will be always useful because there will be always levels where you need to hold enemies uh, with um, to distract them. And with cavalry, it's really good, a good thing. So it's best. I'll say that this uh, hero Xavier, it's best free to play hero. So if you do not inv invest your real money into the game, consider uh, looking into this hero. Also, yes, some others also good like Ryan because he make freeze, and uh, yeah, free freeze it's a nice thing. You will you will use it uh, at certain game activities. So I mean, at certain um, places, uh, enemies they are immune to they are immune to 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 such uh, stuff. So every hero will have its own use. I think even Ellie, uh, maybe sh she will be useful somewhere, or she could be buffed. But for now, I do not use it at all. So uh, it's considering heroes. So three star heroes, w which are good. Uh, Evan. Uh, by the way, some people they use Aisha. Uh, she will help in survivability of your warriors because she heal them. So yeah, I, I do not level up here yet, but I am thinking about it because you see, I have not, not too much heroes I have. I'm not uh, lucky to get something. Then uh, Xavier, powerful. Mm, some people, they take Marcus too because he has some uh, crowd control. So in end game, People say that in end game, uh, your warrior heroes they do not really make damage, but they make crown control. So yeah, you may some some of these heroes they may be useful. Uh, the thing is that in some game modes, crown control will be would wouldn't be useful. So in some mods, uh, monsters enemies they will be immune to crowd control so you can't stun them you can't freeze them so you you should uh, no, remember about it so every hero might have its own uh, time so yeah uh, marcus for crowd control i have ryan i use ryan for crowd control blake it's a good dps hero actually because he make 500 dps it's uh, quite a lot so he has uh, not only crowd control but also dps that's why i level up it and it's very easy to get it's also three star hero everyone can get it so when you just start to play at least it might be useful to get it and raven it's also unusual uh, dps uh, hero with poison so 
yeah, may maybe it's good too. I I have it, but <laughs> I do not spend into it yet. So considering two star heroes, of course we use uh, buffers and uh, all others. Kind of, I just trying to to save for now to put my resources into some stuff which I I will use definitely. So I from two star heroes I use only Tristan, though some people they say that Randolph, for example, good because of his stun ability. Um, yeah, so you may consider it. And among uh, one star hero I use only Luke, and also. I have invested a bit in Brian to increase survivability of my, of my warriors, but actually I don't think it's a good idea to put too much sources into him because he only buff defense and that's it. Because uh, actually attack speed it wouldn't be it wouldn't matter for warriors at end game. But uh, anyway, all these heroes they may be situationally useful. All maybe situation least useful because that's why I do not dismantle heroes anymore. So when I just started to play I dismantled heroes but for now I stopped to do it. So even early I I don't dismantle. So of course maybe it's good thing to do or uh, if you are lack of certain hero, certain particular hero, for example you need Evan very much and you are not lucky then you may consider to to get it when you just a few left and uh, you need to upgrade and to ascend your hero and if if you left and you can't get it so it's a good way to get guaranteed these shards so uh, considering other some other activities uh, there are conquest or uh, i didn't tell tell about it in my uh, past guides so i'll tell a few words it's very simple you just uh, fight let me do it, why not? So we fight uh, to defeat tower, enemy tower. And when we defeat enemy tower, we can upgrade it. So each tower can be upgraded up to four, up to 10 levels. And you should do it. So every tower, let's, let's kill the boss now. You see, Xavier cavalry really helps. It's in, it's intercept enemy. So yeah, we got this fort now, this tower. It level one right now. So we level up it. We're spending on it uh, our iron, which we get still. Uh, we get it from uh, dismantling archer uh, archer equipment, and we just uh, level up it. D d don't be afraid to spend everything because you will have plenty of steel, and uh, you got additional idle income. So. And you could claim it like this. Yeah, there are plenty of different uh, places to attack. Uh, I, I just started this. So consider King, King Ruins, it's very easy, just do it at the end of the, of the day. So when, uh, at the end of the day, when your power will be bigger, I told about it. Considering Expedition, also try to push uh, as hard as you could till the, at the end of the day. Because, for example, right now I can't kill this uh, wolf level 8, but at the end of the day I'll be able to do it, I think. And also buy additional tickets always. You could, by the way, do it yeah, during, during the fights. So, uh, yeah, portal is very easy, just also push it, N nothing too special. Blacksmith. Here, uh, important thing. It's not to get too far in certain equipment because, as I uh, told you, it's important to get set. So, for example, for this hero, I have uh, very nice... I mainly farm uh, boots. Uh, I mainly farm boots. So, farmed boots. So, I have very, very high level boots. If I'll use them, if I'll wear, equip them, they give nice parameters but I wouldn't get plus 25 attack bonus because I uh, disrupted the set so it's very important to have sets yeah it's uh, considering equipment and also I've decided not to to use summon of equipment 
you may also consider it because why because this ultra summon of equipment of gear it's uh, increasing over stages so i it's better in my humble opinion it's better to save to save till you will uh, go very high and then eventually spend all these gear seals so i i am saving this for later because i, I still i'm um, going through levels pretty good but yeah it's it's optional you may consider a different thing so yeah it's uh, my set which i use not uh, i have very small amount of heroes actually so i need more heroes to replace a lot of stuff but but it makes me at least i i have progression important thing that important advice that if you are not lucky to get certain heroes if you want to have adrian and you because of you want to have adrian you do not level up xavier the problem is that in this game the most important thing is to go as high as you could daily so for example after one week of gaming i am at 1000 stage it's not much i play quite casually sometimes more sometimes less uh, some people may make better results but what i mean you should be able to go forward uh, if you if you save if you save up resources if you try to save up uh, your souls it's good thing to save up but it you should uh, move forward if you save up and because of it you play at low levels you wouldn't generate a lot of cell uh, stones so it's better to invest in not maybe the best heroes but to go forward so uh, people who consider to save up uh, what i could say the farther you go through levels at the battlefield the more rewards you will have so you see right now at this stage of, in uh, stage i got 200 gold every five seconds it's kind of it's all right and also here we have uh, four star equipment already for archers so it's better to invest to invest even if later on you may maybe not always use this hero so it's better always to to invest or uh, to stuff which will give you pro progress it's important thing so it's all all in this game depends on your luck <laughs> of course um, so you should play from the heroes which you got and if you do not have any four star hero it's all right just get uh, your three star heroes there are plenty of good three star heroes like evan like xavier like ryan so use what you have and level up it if you have all heroes uh, quite bad then try to focus at one which is you think uh, less waste for, for me i made decision to concentrate at xavier for now oh uh, yeah because he, he's kind of pushing hero for, and he will be useful always i mean at end game also some levels uh, he will be nice to have but yeah you may be lucky and you may have a lot of foster hero at, at the end of the first day maybe so you may uh, i think maybe some people they may consider to start new account uh, eventually if you play and you have very bad ultra summons if you just very unlucky person just consider to start a new account yeah why not uh, so if, if you are uh, serious player you may consider it and if you play of uh, if you like free to play playing so if you can uh, invest in, in this game investing in this game could uh, like it's like how you could fight with unlucky thing so you could uh, push your destiny uh, forward with some small amount of real money so i mean what what to say this uh hero packages here it's not at like five dollar per hero it's quite uh, all right i think so you, you may push your luck a bit further if you're stuck it's not big uh, money for it i mean a lot of other mobile games they require much more investments than this game so yeah uh that's it for now so yeah 
considering archers, I go to uh, f to ice, to threes, and all equipment which you use should also has uh, this element which you choose. Some people they play with a fire, uh, yeah. Some people play with a lightning. Lightning it's also like a freeze, uh, but it works not not so guaranteed chance. So w with a with a lightning actually, if you try hard level where you stuck, eventually with the lightning you may be lucky to get through it. Uh, with the freeze, it's more constant gameplay. You have kind of most uh, more stability, less uh, random RNG. So I play with the st most stable build with the freeze, but you may consider to to go for the luck for. Uh, or also some people use uh, by the way fire it's also no but not, almost no one use poison for now but i think developers they will buff poison very soon because yeah it's what developers doing so in one of the next updates uh, developers might buff poison so you should be ready for it that's why do not dismantle heroes because this is new game a lot of st stuff will change so, uh, by the way, in past update uh, they added Kingdom Pass, so another another way to spend some real money in this game. I hope this video will help you. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll make more useful guides in best mobile games. Have a good day. Please write your comments and questions in the comments below this video. Bye bye. Postscriptum. <laughs> it's important thing. Uh, one of the most important resources is Accession Stones, actually. And uh, when you just start to play, you have a lot of Accession Stones, but eventually uh, you wouldn't have enough of them. So uh, don't waste them at everything. You see, I, for example, I have plenty of heroes, which I do not ascend because of these stones. Because uh, right now, just uh, recently, I ascended Evan, and now I... I'm lack of stone. So if I'll be lucky to make a draw, uh, if I will draw a new hero, how I'll upgrade it without stones. So yeah, you will have plenty of them every day, but you should consider to uh, do not waste them at everything. It's limited resource. Good luck in summons.